Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome to part 74 of my Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on ultra hard difficulty and in this episode guys I'd like to go here, let me just show you real quick. Uh, by the way we're going to get this first, a Banuke figure. I want to go down to, where is it? Oh crap, <laughs> sorry, oh here it is, it's here, this one here. Um, I want to do this... Uh, whatever this is and uh, maybe get that banuke figurine as well but just before we uh do anything let's grab this so there's the banuke painting and i hope i'm going the right way for this this looks a little bit <laughs> unreachable but i'll try oh no seriously guys it won't let me go any higher one second i might have to go around yeah, it's not letting me, it's like pushing me out of bounds there. So if I go this way, perhaps. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. No, please. Is that Glint Hawks? Crap. My favorite. Okay. All right, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Are there any more glint walks? Right, right, check this out, guys. So more Banuk paintings. Now, is this is it is it like a clue to climb up? Oh no! Uh... <laughs> Where are they? Okay, here we are. Okay, let me load up a triple shot. Oh, what? No, oh, guys, listen, there's something on my controller. It's like when I choose something, see, it's doing it now. It just snaps back somewhere else. Anyway, ignore me. I'm just rambling. <laughs> okay. Is there any more glint walks, though? Ah, oh, awkward to get to. Die. <laughs> All right, good. He's dead. Thank goodness. All right. I hope that was it. I hope um, there isn't like an entire flock up there. <laughs> Guys, this, the night sky looks so amazing. <laughs> Right, here we go. Found it! Yes! A wind sculpture. Banuke, probably. Okay, so Banuke Artifact Mother. Oh, guys, you know what? I'm gonna... I'm not gonna read this. I'm gonna read these, all the Banuke um, uh, Artifact stories and the Vantage Point stories. We're gonna do that in a lore video. Uh, probably in the near future. I'm not sure what episode it will be. We still need to do all these side quests and... Um, you know, obviously the frozen wilds. So when I've completed enough of the, the game, we're going to do a whole video where it's just me reading all of these. I'm interested and you don't have to watch it if you're not interested in just lore. So I'd like to read all this in order. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, guys, I'll meet you at the sunry. Hey, guys, we are back. Okay. So I have to dress up in the Shadow Stalwart armor, which is awesome. I love this armor. It makes Aloy look like a superhero. Anyway, let's see what this is about. I have to hand them all over to the soldiers. She's very pale. Is she unwell? Yes. She's a fighter, but the fever on her won't lift. It only burns hotter. Oh no. Her name is Shiana. My sister. Isn't there anyone in Sunfall who can help? We're refugees. We know our place. And there's only one healer in the territory. He's... Uh, difficult. His soul is in shadow. His... soul is in shadow? Galif. That's him. He's very clever, but he has little care for people. Perhaps the desert scoured it all away. Perhaps he was always like that. Either way, I know he won't help us. Well, I'll see about that. Where would I find him? 
Last I heard, he was patching up soldiers at Blazon Arch. Another border battle. Shh. Oh, that's sad, guys. Now I want to help him. Right. Okay, it's an errand. Healer's Oath. Aloy offered to find a healer to tend to a young Shadow Karja refugee. Talk to Galeev and ask him to help Shiana. That's a lovely name, Shiana. Alright, so that'll be plus 5500 XP. So where is this? Oh, I remember this place. We were supposed to um, have a look. Um, well, anyway, it's not far, so I may as well just take a mount. Where am I? I think I came there, uh, well, went there during... Uh, oh, mount can't reach. Oh, God damn it, one sec. That's it. I remember now. It's called Sun and Shadow. That was the quest. Um... Oh, I did that ages ago. <laughs> I don't even... Guys, don't even ask me which episode. But listen, please check out the playlist. Um, you know, if, if you, you want to go to specific um, quests, um, you know, it's all in the playlist. All right. Yeah, this is the right way. Sorry, I'm going quiet because there may be ravages here. That's why. So I'm just keeping my ears listening out. Anyway, I hope everyone's doing well, guys. As for me... Um, oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> right, they're the ra ravages. Okay, let's go past them if at all possible. Come on. Great. Everyone's alerted to me. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, I've never been here before. So there could potentially be more side quests here. Um, Alright, here we go, guys. Is it down here? I should get down oh damn it <laughs> it's really nice in here though blaze and arch okay brand new settlement who's that what is going on oh, i was probably the ravager i don't know why is the music so I'm in the clear. ominous <laughs> right let's do a quick save I can see, all right, I can see a data point, guys. <laughs> we'll get that in just a second. Let's go and find a scumbag. I want him to help that little girl. The only thing that this fight will accomplish is prolonging our exile. I want to give this place a thorough search because it could be more data points. Oh, is he not here? Oh, there you are. <laughs> what are you doing out here by yourself? Are you Galeev, the healer? I had planned to spend the day gazing at the lands of my exile and feeling sorry for myself, but you're not from Sunfall, so this could be interesting. I came from the tenth city there. There's a sick girl. Her brother told me about you. The answer is no. What? No, I can't spare the medicine, nor my time to administer it. My resources are already spread thin, thin as the soiled cloths I have to use for dressings. He's weird. Why won't you help? Look at it from my perspective. What meager goods I can get must be smuggled in. That's expensive. The behemoth's share goes to the military. Of course, there are the demands of the citadel. Helis's kestrels are so prone to sticky ends. What's left, that's for the nobles, who can pay well for my services. Look at it from my perspective. A little girl is sick. Yeah. I think we are calling to each other across an ideological impasse. What's stopping me from just making you do it? I'd have to cause a situation. And you wouldn't harm the only healer disgraced enough to work for the Shadow Karja, would you? Well, we've only just met, but yes, it's tempting. <laughs> they decide who lives and dies nothing you can do would compare to my punishment if i use the last of my stock on a tent girl 
Oh god, this guy's such a dick. I kind of understand where he's coming from though, I do, but um, still, he's a bit of a prick. You're kind of an ass, Healer. <laughs> There's no cure for a conscience, but in this line of work, I've built up an immunity to it. And yet, if you feel so strongly about this one girl, perhaps we can make a deal. My charity for a Thunderjaw heart. That's not how charity works. It is how deals work. You'd settle my debts for a while. I already have the part. Wow, we could already have a deal. Quickly now, let's salve your poor conscience. See to the girl, and it's yours. Not before. Oh, please. On my oath, this girl will survive to see our sad future. You and I shouldn't be seen together. Go on to the slums ahead of me. I'll find you presently. You do stand out in the crowd. Wow, guys. What a, what a douchebag. Okay. And it's a good thing I have a uh, thunder, uh, thunder jewel heart, so... Right, there's that. I have seen a collectible there, or a data point rather. However, is there anything here? <laughs> Just having a look, guys. All right. Well, I guess we could just swim across. Why not? Oh, no. Aloy, please. Oh, guys, you've got to be kidding. <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. Oh, never mind. Guys, I'll see you in a minute. We'll come back here. Hey, guys. I'm back. Okay, so there should be a little supply crate here. Has to be more data points. There has to be. All right, never mind. Not so much. All right, no, there's nothing here really. There's a merchant, obviously. All right, cool. No worries. Okay, let's go and find a data point and then we'll uh, go back to the sun ring. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'll do what it was. The reason I hesitate there. I was going to turn in to come here, but I was worried I may fall into the water. So. The Forbidden West, guys. That's the sequel to this game. All right, awesome. Okay, scan glyph. Okay, here we go, guys. Skip ahead if you're not interested in the lore. Skip ahead using the timestamps. All right, expeditions into the Forbidden West. Reader, if you would know of the Forbidden West, there are none more qualified to be your teller than I, the considerate Udain, healer of Blazon Arch. Why? For I yet live. Unlike the outlanders who gasp or sh uh, shriek the tales that follow, foolhardy blazons and madcaps all. They were brought to me near death, poisoned, mortally wounded, or driven witless by what they had experience in the lands beyond the daunt. With such wounds, it was all I could do to ease their pain and try to make notes from their ranting. As the sign sh shines upon me, I cannot vouch for the full truth of these tales. I only hope they will satisfy your curiosity and turn you from the path that led these imprudent explorers and daredevil trekkers to their deaths. Though each account differs, it is certain that the western lands are most unlike our own. Some cross deserts of palest white, others deserts of, sorry, deserts of the color of fire, or even limitless sweeps of blue sand that seemed to reflect the sky above, broken only by the remains of ancient machines. Others spoke of vast prairies of tall grass, each blade sharp enough to draw blood, dotted with shivering black flowers or incalculable plains of dried mud, cracked like a great mosaic. At night, unknown animals watch with glowing eyes, and strange birds, really, so there's other animals out there, and strange birds, all the colours of kites and fireworks, chitter and call out in men's voices. Okay. Most extraordinary... Oh, wait, that's parrots, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that must be what that is. Anyway... 
most extraordinary of all are those reports of a lake, 100 times the size of the daybrink, so wide the far shores cannot be made out, and so deep that an entire city of the ancients stands drowned within. That is so interesting, guys. The water is sour to the taste and sickening, and it is said to rise up and push back against those who attempt to cross. It would seem that dead cities without number have been consumed by the shifting dunes in the west, their skeletal towers mired in seas of sand. The wind is heard to sing a low, mournful song through these ruins, or through the skeletons of vast metal birds, planes, aeroplanes, now fallen, or over great metal bowels, now filled with depths of black water, where fish dart like shooting stars. That song of ruin, rising from a hum to a howl, still haunted these men and women as they thrashed and sweated in unquiet sleep. But though the western lands are harsh, and even their beauty hides dangers, it is not the land alone that swallows up all who venture within, that inflicts the brands and wounds suffered by those few fortunate enough to return. Oh yes, all have spoken of new machines in the West, machines more strange and terrible than any found in the Sundom. With their fingernails, dying witnesses have scratched out impossible shapes, or, if they still possess several limbs and vocal organs, mimicked jerking movements and imitated awful sounds, all belonging in the throes of madness. And what manner of men can live where the sun goes at night? These tales were the most chilling. One spoke of drinkers of machine blood, their lips and tongues stained, my goodness, their teeth replaced with metal. Another described youths as pale as ash, all wearing the same faces, who hunt silently and tirelessly in the night. Still, another told of a tribe, seen only from afar, whose folk busy themselves digging deep pits in the sand, only to fill them in again for unknowable reasons, while another tribe was only glimpsed on the waters of the Great Lake, riding their thin dark boats. O oh, son, a half of me regrets scribing these stories, for they inspire questions that can only be answered by yet more doomed expeditions. And yet I must tell the tales for what else remains of these poor and wretched men and women. If they sought riches, they found none to bring back. Nothing save a handful of black silt, or a curiously stamped piece of metal, a chunk of desert glass with shifting hue, or an odd smooth shell. I have kept all these things to remind me of those who went in search of the forbidden and paid for it dearly. Reader, if you think yourself an adventurer, heed the warning in this old man's collection of strange small things, and go not in to the forbidden west. <laughs> it just makes me want to go there even more <laughs> all right guys okay excellent i'll meet you back at the sun ring hey guys we are back okay i keep calling it the sun well it is a sun ring a sun ring is there but this is sun fall <laughs> so anyway where are they okay here we go it's you hello again i've brought someone to see your sister how did you... What did we do to deserve... No, wait. I don't even want to ask. In case a shadow passes over and is gone. Smart boy. She'll have his full attention. Won't she? Once I'm freed of other distractions, yes. He's such an arsehole. Oh, you're kidding. There's no dialogue, really? What she called Shiana. I knew a Shiana once. She sang in a tavern. How is your sister's singing voice? Uh, she likes ball games. She wants to be a soldier. That's a shame. Okay. <laughs> That's enough excitement for my rest day. Thank you again for giving her a better chance. <laughs> Alright, let's leave him to it, guys. I'm just glad we saved Shiana. Uh, guys, that's such a beautiful name. Shiana. I knew she. 
Okay, they're still, <laughs> still going over the same dialogue. All right, guys, what are we doing now? What should we do? That was quite a short quest. Guys, there's a corrupted zone level 34. Should we check it out? <laughs> this, this looks difficult. I mean, look, the two rock breakers was level 32. This is a level 34. I can't imagine. I cannot imagine what this could be. It could be more rock breakers, to be fair. Uh, we'll see. Let, let's have a look. Okay, there's also a Banuke thingy. Oh, there's a thing. Guys, there's a thing. So, anyway, there's the clues. So, we just got to find a way up there. How to... Right, we need some climbable holds. Right, I can see yellow. Okay, guys, check it out. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> One sec. Right, here we go. Check it out. Okay, we may as well go for this first. And again, like I said in the last episode, guys, um, any Banuke stories or anything, I'm going to read out in a lore video. So we'll do that all... Um, It'll probably, I don't know, be about a 30-minute video. So, um, for those who are interested, I mean, you don't have to watch it if you don't want to. It's not a problem. But we've still got a ton of quests to do. We've got corruption zones. We've got bandit camps. We've got frozen wilds to finish as well. You know, the main game, obviously, you know. All right, up here. And here. Okay. All right, good. What a super cool jump. <laughs> All right, check it out, guys. Okay, there we go. And up this way. Oh, God, that was a little bit nerve-wracking. Okay. All right, that's the rappel down, and here it is. Check it out. The sculpture must be of Banuk make. Okay, so we've got two more to get. There's still obviously a ton of metal flowers I need to uh, grab as well. Uh, three more of these. Once all of these are done, that's when we'll go and see the merchants in Meridian to, you know, trade them in and whatnot. Okay, so what's next? <laughs> right, it's going to be a, a corrupted zone. I don't even know what is going to be down there, so I'm a little bit nervous. But uh, we'll see. Okay, what do you think, guys? Let's do stealth. Let's um, scout the place first. All right, another one of these. Good. And the thing is, we have got weapons from the DLC, so we should be in a good position. If it is rock breakers, we're going to use um, tons of ice. <laughs> I'm so scared, though. All right, we're not far now. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Okay, don't rush in. Okay, here we go, guys. All right, level 34. Let's get this done. 10,000 XP, guys. All right, what do we have? Corrupted Broadhead? Really? It's not very threatening, is it? Oh, what's that? Wait, wait. Shit. <laughs> A Corrupted Behemoth, guys. And another one. I can see one in the distance. Oh, okay. All right, if you remember, was it a last episode or episode before where we went to um, Sunstone Rock or whatever it's called? We did fight Behemoth and a weapon that did work out quite well. But then again, I should be saying I'm on fire as well. Okay. Yeah, sorry. What I was trying to say was we can actually shoot a canister, an ice canister, uh, canister on them. But I don't want to just charge in there. So what we should do is probably proximity bombs. I think it'll be best if I use shield weaver. So let's switch into that. Okay, let's get a few buffs in. 
Oh, damn it. I need to make a corruption <laughs> thing. I haven't got it. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay, guys. I think we should just go for it. Now, these are actually for the behemoth. Ah, damn it. He's done that already. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Right. <laughs> okay, let's shoot that ice thingy. No, don't move. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, why did I miss? How did I miss? Oh, my God. Okay, please, please, please. Oh, guys, this is so inaccurate. I'm doing this at full draw. What? Guys, that's full draw. I don't believe this. Wait, was that shock? That's probably why. Okay, here we go. Right, got him. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh my god, he's still not... He's still not frozen. Okay, no worries. I'm so sorry about this. Why did they hit my proximity traps? Oh my god, I can't believe this guys. You know what proximities are amazing But the problem is The enemies seem to just avoid them See yeah, it's not very accurate. Okay Damn it in that case Let me switch to blast wise. I think that would be better. Much better. Okay. So now that he's dealt with. No, not that. Jeez, my, my controller, guys. It keeps snapping back to. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, damn it. That, that, was a, that was a total miss. <laughs> my fault. Oh, my God. Seriously, man. I swear it was on ice. I can't believe this. I need a new controller. This is really getting on my nerves. Oh crap. Whoa! Oh my god! Okay, okay, run. Run. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Okay, please be on ice. Thank you. I'm gonna try this again. Damn. Okay, here we go, guys. Right, let's get back into this. Okay, good. Okay, I hope this actually works. Let me triple up a shot. Oh my god. All right, thank you. My goodness. Wow. <laughs> anyway. Come on, come on. That is a shit ton of damage, guys. My goodness. <laughs> Something went right, guys. My goodness. Okay, um, I'm gonna stop using that stupid freaking... One sec. I mean, it's got ice in there. Quite a lot of it. Okay, I'm gonna switch back to this. I know they're weak to fire. I know that, but... um, Guys, let me just loot this dude. Let's just jump down there. Thank goodness. We got more handling coils and a damage coil. I don't want that. I was trying to loot that tub. Okay, let me just do that. Here we go again. Don't underestimate them. I tell you what, let me put him on fire just to get some extra damage. And also, guys, I just remembered something. We need to uh, destroy the um Wait, wait. Oh god. <laughs> right, we need to destroy these. I just want to try it because I've never done it before. Oh, 
I'll freeze it in a minute. I'm trying to remove these. Oh my god! did it okay that's one side wait 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 <laughs> shit all right let's triple up a shot and let's go okay now has that disabled his not really <laughs> sorry i thought he'll stop doing his um aoe attacks i mean his ranged attack i beg i beg your pardon guys <laughs> guys i died <laughs> hey guys we are back <laughs> okay all right let me select that okay attempt two okay oh god don't see me now please not now okay let me switch out my weapons again outfit shield weaver i think we're gonna need that my god those behemoths do a ton of damage it's ridiculous um right i want this okay here's what we do this is actually not really for the behemoth this is for the uh broadheads oh wait hang on is he just on his own oh i think he's on his own guys i could be wrong i could be wrong but okay you know what screw it let's just put him on fire I want to try and get rid of his, um... Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. I think his buddies... Oh, no, his buddies are still there. Oh, crap, guys. They've all reset. I thought it was just going to be this one, um, behemoth. Damn, cactus! <laughs> okay. Come on, come on. Shit. Makes this a little easier. Okay, good. Right, there should be another broadhead. Sorry, I'm not talking much, guys. I just don't want to. I don't want to die again. <laughs> so. Wait, I want this one. It's got my fire stuff in it. Uh, guys, that's that's such bullshit. He just went right through the freaking blast wire. No, stop. All right, good. He's out. Wait, is he dead? All right, good. He's out of the picture now. Right, here we go, guys. I've got to be really careful. <sighs> Damn it. You know what? I've never used this before. No, not that. Damn it. My freaking controller, guys. I'll explain what I mean in a minute. Nice! Okay. And this one? Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That was shit. Okay. I still don't understand their weak points. Um. No, that's all still there. Guys, you know what? I'm going to stop fucking about. I was just trying to find other ways to kill them. Let's just try and get him iced. And then, um, yeah, we'll take from there. Oh, crap. I'm not taking any chances. Shit, the other one's here. Damn it. This is really tough. I'm not going to lie to you. It's still not as hard as the double rock breakers, but still. Oh, shit. Oh no, both of them. Shit. Oh god. Oh <laughs> god. Okay, here we go. No. Aloy, stop it. Jesus. Oh my god. Oh, this is turning into a mess, guys. Okay. 
Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> that was so intense. Okay, let's loot him real quick. Right, you. Okay. All right, let's lay some traps. amount of health I'm losing uh, why is he wait wait I don't understand why does it look like he's supposed to be um dazed I don't understand Okay, um, same thing again. All right, triple up a shot. Come on, come on. Oh, crap. Shoot in a B. Oh, what? 394? Are you serious? Seven eight eight. Where's the 1100s? Oh, I get it. Guys, I think I understand. I think I understand. If you hit any armor plates... Oh, it's over. It's over, guys. It's over. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Not as difficult as the double rock breakers. But this was still tough. It really was. Um, this is probably my fourth time fighting behemoths. Um, and the reason I was messing about earlier, I was just trying to find any other weak spots to hit, but... Apart from those echo shell things on the side of its head, there's not really much else, you know? So I think just ice them up and then... And then take it from there, really. Okay, that's done. Okay, guys, we're nearly done. We just want to get this. So I have a feeling we're going to have to go around. But yeah, good fight. <laughs> good fight. But nothing beats the double demonic um, frost claws. Is this the right way? Look out below! What in the hell? Guys, I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Shit. Taking a wrong turn. Okay, one second. Let's try and get up here. Right, I think I get it. Oh, no, 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 please. Oh, guys, Glint's Hawks again. Unbelievable. They're just everywhere. Oh, I don't like the looks of this, guys. This looks like maybe I can't... Ah, shit. God damn it, guys. This, this is frustrating me. Hey, guys. I sped up the footage because I got lost. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So I found a campfire. I'll show you where we are. That's my fault. I tried to go through this way to get the smell flower, but you really have to go around, and there's an entrance here, and a campfire as well. And it's definitely going to be Glint's Walks, which I'm not very happy about. <laughs> what the? Whoa, it's a Ravager. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, let's, let me try and... I've never used a Ravager gun in a while, guys. Oh, crap. Dude, really? Oh, my God. How did I miss? How? Right on time. Did I get his gun? No. Shit. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay.
jumps. I just jumped over there. Fire. Okay. Oh my god, dude, really? Okay, you know what? I knew that was gonna happen, guys. <laughs> Scumbag. Anyway, whatever. Oh, sorry I was quiet for that, guys. I've not fought Ravages in a while, you know? And to be honest, I didn't want to just ice them up and kill them. I just wanted to get a normal victory, <laughs> like normally, without icing them up. But they're still pretty tough. All right, let's take care of these scumbags. <laughs> okay, where's his bodies? I knew it. Really? Oh, crap. Guys, do you know what I should have done? I should have overridden a Ravager if I'd known. Didn't even know there was going to be any Ravagers here, but if I'd known, and they would have used their guns to kill these Glimsworks. <laughs> Alright, let me triple up a shot, actually. Oh, I forgot they do the ice bollocks. Okay, let me do this. My God. Right, where's the other one? I swear there was another one here. I have to say, this place is really well guarded. I'm just wondering what they're trying to hide. Are you kidding? Is there another one? Guys, this is really annoying me. Glim's Hawks honestly make me miserable. Oh my god. Please, will you just die? By the way, I need to put a purple mod in my spear. I keep forgetting. Actually, I'll do it now. May as well do it. Uh, how do I do this? Modify weapons. This one. There we go. Whoa, 102, guys. That's not bad. <laughs> anyway, let's not waste time. I just want to get this freaking metal flower, which is somewhere right those are the glint hawks what the heck <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where, where it could be well it's not here obviously all right let's try it this way Normally you see like a purple thing kind of shimmering, but I can't really see anything. Guys, let me go and hunt around for it. I'll be back with you shortly. Hey guys, okay, I'm back. I was actually still looking for the metal flower, switching to my stealth outfit because there's some ravagers and watchers. I don't know where this metal flower is. However, check it out. There's actually a data point. Don't know where exactly. There it is. Check it out. Uh, what? More mosquitoes? <laughs> okay. All right. Again, skip ahead if you're not interested in this. Uh, use the timestamps. Kasabian, won't someone think of the mosquitoes? 
Ryan Kasabian, only guy on the planet, upset about mosquitoes being driven to extinction. March 18th, 2060. Blood Moon Star and Human Attention Vacuum. What? Human Attention Vacuum. Ryan Kasabian is very disappointed in you, world. How dare you celebrate the deaths of billions of innocent <laughs> mosquitoes like that? Ashamed yet? Well, <laughs> the 32 year old actor, uh, in inverted commas, spleen vented while accepting the less than coveted award for baddest vampire hero at the Edgescape Choice Awards. This sounds like that freaking um, Twilight. <laughs> so, yeah, we forgot that was a thing too. An entire species exterminated in the blink of an eye. Kasabian pouted, if we are the planetary stewards we claim to be since the clawback, we are doing a lousy job of it. Um, the lousy job Kasabian is referring to there, the eradication of mosquito-borne diseases. Both old standards like malaria, Zika, West, West Nile, um, encephalitis, I don't know what that is, and new die-off era emergent viruses like Jaw Nu and Tripura. Wow, okay. Yeah, well, lousy job getting rid of those bugs and the plagues they carried. Good thing they've uh, we've got the guy from the lunar, that lunar mining base, overrun by sexy vampires, hollow, to remind us of our crimes against mosquitoes. Hmm, there's a bloodsucker pun in there somewhere. God damn it, guys. <laughs> All right, anyway, let me keep looking around for this thing, and I'll be back soon. Hey, guys, we are back. Finally, I found it. I definitely missed it. However, we did find that uh, data point, which is good. Okay, let's read this poetry real quick. And there we go. At last. This took me a while. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. All right. Um, I slumbered this spring morning and missed the dawn. From everywhere I heard the cries of birds. That night, the sound of wind and rain had come. Who knows how many petals then had fallen. All right. Anyway, guys. Okay, I'll... Okay, I'll kill this Ravager myself, and uh, what I'm going to do is, we're going to end the episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, what it is, this is a little bit different, because what I'm trying to do is get collectibles. I'm trying to clear the map as much as humanly possible. I don't know if I'll 100% the game, but, I'll, you know, I'll do my best. Uh, by the way, in case you're wondering why doesn't any trophies come up, they're already it's already been a hundred percented by my younger brother this is actually his game it's his ssd i'm using so i can play this for you guys but um yeah there's still a few collectibles here what else can we do there's obviously these two here so i'm trying to clear as many little quests errands corrupted zones bandit camps you know obviously other collectibles like these as well oh we need to go back here oh my god guys okay next episode we're gonna do this I know Nil was here, so we need to do this one here. This is all the way back in Maker's End, I think. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed yourselves. If you did, please don't forget to leave the video a like. Please subscribe if you're brand new. And um, turn a burn, uh, burn, <laughs> bell notification on. And uh, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.